Hello to all my friends out there. Let's hope this thing doesn't cut out on me. Okay. So let's see. We have one week and two days left of the month. That's nine days, 30% of the month. So the potential is there to save 30% of our money if we have been stockpiling food all week and then all month. And then if we continue stockpiling a little each day, then at the uh, beginning of the month, we should have at least uh, maybe a week, maybe more. And then we just keep on doing that until the end of the year. So one of the cheapest things you can eat is sandwiches. In fact, you can eat two a day. Uh, my generation, older adult women are known as the sandwich generation or something like that. So, okay, I have some butter. Uh, I'm trying to use up the food I have. I have some uh, tea, pomegranate, blueberry. This is not my favorite, but you know, I figured, okay, tonight's the night. Uh, and then I have one of my newer teacups. Oh, this is pretty. Take a look at this beautiful thing. Small joys. And then I started adding a little uh, coffee creamer. I found these at Dollar Tree, um, no uh, sugar, Splenda. So um, I have been able to move away from Diet Coke a little bit by drinking tea. Okay, so now... Um, so, um, sandwiches, you could have one for breakfast, one for lunch, or you could just have lunch. So what I'm having is a breakfast sandwich. And so, um, today I went to Ralph's and I decided to buy these, um, these, um, English muffins again, because these were really fresh and, uh, they make a pretty good, uh, breakfast sandwich. So uh, I um, have one left, but uh, these are fresher. So these I think are uh, 20, 25 cents each. So they're not too expensive. Um, so also though, uh, they have a deal at McDonald's, two for $3. You could get uh you can eat, get enough for uh, two days. Uh, they're good, good enough left over. I'll, I go over easy. Okay, let's see if I have one of my lovely tea party spoons. I have them. I'm not keeping them very nice in the drawer. That is pretty good. It tastes a lot better with the coffee creamer, actually. Now I'm getting somewhere with the meat. So, um, this is like for a month. So it'd be half of this for two weeks, two pounds sausage, two pounds bacon. So, uh, this week, so this is for a month. I found a uh, hoppy bacon, um, for I think it was $3 at Grocery Outlet. And then I got the sausage at uh, Walmart. And uh, so, you know, I know every month I want to eat breakfast sandwiches while it's cold. Uh, two pounds bacon, two pounds sa sausages, one flat egg or two cartons. I prefer to buy my cartons with a really long expiration date and then at the middle of the month buy another one and one gallon milk. So we learned this, this is what we get. Uh, here is my bacon. I, um, I baked it at 400 and I made enough for two sandwiches. Okay. So um, these hit the spot, they're like a whole meal. So, uh, two pounds sausages, two pounds bacon, one flat eggs, one gallon milk, 
And then I have one box pancake mix and one box biscuit mix. So I could make my own biscuit, biscuit and sausage sandwich or a biscuit with sausage and egg. Three pounds hamburger, two pounds cooked ham. I, I just added the ham. I go, yeah, why not? Why not get those flat ham steaks? Two pounds, two pounds cheese, two pounds hot dogs, 10 pounds chicken, because I'm trying to eat chicken most of the time. Okay, um, also these English muffins are good for uh, individual pizzas. And then two pounds of bologna or lunch meat. Okay, today, at Walmart, they had uh, 12 ounces of turkey or ham lunch meat. Each one, 12 ounces, uh, marked down from $6 to $3. But I have plenty of lunch meat. So uh, the, last the last week of the month, if you just eat a few sandwiches and then some kind of maybe cheap meals like uh, the chili or the spaghetti, and so in a week for one person, a quarter pound meat a day, I need one and a three quarters pound, two weeks, three and a half, three weeks, five and a quarter, and four weeks, seven and a half. So I would just go to two pounds a week or eight pounds a month. And then I'm trying to add a bone broth, cottage cheese, yogurt, and buttermilk any of those to equal um, four cups a day to make sure I'm getting enough dairy. You can kind of change those up for meat. So uh, tonight, as soon as this is done, it's coming, I'm gonna be having a breakfast sandwich and some tea. So I found with this brand of, of um, English muffins is better not, so I'm going to have uh, two, um, two pieces of bacon and one fried egg. And I'm not going to put anything else on it. And then I'm going to save my two pieces of bacon. And then in the morning, I'm going to have another one of these, maybe, if I feel like it. Here it is. So I won't be starving. Okay, so by uh, carefully conserving all of my money and stockpiling a little bit of food each and every day, like dollar shopping, like 50% discount shopping. Uh, uh, McDonald's has two sandwiches for $5 meals. It has two for $6 if you like the big sandwiches, Big Macs, Quarter Pounder with cheese or 10 piece McNuggets or fish fillets. So uh, let me give you a shot of the page in case some of you want to take a screenshot. So um, nine days. And once again, today I had to buy toilet paper. And I think it was yesterday I had to buy gas. So uh, I'm having a bit of an issue with the uh, non-food items. I want the non-food items exactly $50 a week and no more, including gas to get to the gym. I went to the gym today. I did the uh, walking, but I didn't do the weightlifting because I had insomnia. And I was afraid I was going to hurt myself because, you know, no sleep. Okay, so now today, after the gym, I went to Ralph's to stockpile. I don't want to put it on there. It's hot. To get some food. Okay, you have to uh, reserve a little money so that when the deals are there, you can take advantage. So I got the um, English muffins for uh, $2.59. So these were about 26 cents each. So 26 cents a day. Ten of them. So then, um, okay, so then, uh, oh, okay. now this, I don't know if this is like all mixed up and ready to um, microwave, but remember I told you I was going for the bone broth. 
and this was marked down from five dollars to two fifty fifty percent each i think these are like ready already you just microwave them a lot of times there's not good instructions on how much bone broth you're supposed to use for uh, your um, your uh, amounts of water. So this is keto and paleo. Now I find the the, the paleo could be good. You know, it's not. Um, It, I'm not sure it adds, it, it allows, I think it does allow dairy. Uh, I'm researching that because I feel better on less um, carbs. Okay, and then I got um, one can, uh, now this was a good deal, spicy jambalaya uh, sausage and bacon soup. So uh, these are enough for two servings for 68 cents. So what I like to do is eat soup and then I have crackers with homemade peanut butter and cheese or a sandwich. And then I bought two of these spicy tomato soups. These are big cans marked down. Uh, these aren't horribly expensive anyway. These aren't like $5 soups, but the regular price is, um, about two dollars and thirty cents and for this spicy jambalaya i think it was uh it was uh 132 so they're not too expensive so right here is six what i like to do with um tomato soup is i cut cheese in little pieces and i get my soup really hot and i drop the pieces of soup in the uh, cheese in the soup and that's what I do in the middle of the night. Then I got, so this is at least about two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. And then this tortilla soup was really cheap, uh, 42 cents. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff I look for. And what I do is I just put this in the stockpile and believe it or not, eventually comes the day and I go, you know, I think I wanna eat this. And then I didn't really need peanut butter, but these peanut butters, they say were, uh, I think it's only $1.99, but it was marked down to 92 cents. So I thought I will take that because I could always make peanut butter um, sandwiches. So this is quite a bit of food that I got very cheap. So at this point, you know, this is a lot of food and it didn't cost me too much. So I just put it in a pile. I have an actual stock pile. But then I bought something else nice. And I will show you what it is. And, I, and so I bought Ralph's toilet paper. I haven't discovered the best deal on toilet paper yet. Okay, I bought this coffee creamer for $9 at Ralph's. And so what I do is, if you saw my video, I use this when I made um, fry bread. Instead of adding water, I made this like cream. So you can put one or two tablespoons in some boiling water. And you can drink it just like milk. It's, it's three pounds. And uh, I bought this one quite a while ago, and this one was $5.47, and I got that at, uh, so this is a fabulous deal. And then I have powdered milk, I have shelf stable milk, because going, and then, you know, buttermilk. But if you keep your dairy up, you know, reasonable, don't overdo it. So I'm gonna be in, in no, uh, it says non-dairy. I don't really care what it is. What I would do is like if something happens, like the end of the month, I wanna save my money, I run out of milk, that's not gonna happen. But let's say, you know, the worst starts happening, I mix this stuff up and I pour it on my oatmeal. That's what I bought this for. So I wanted to give you guys that idea. But another thing is, if you start drinking it in your coffee or tea, you're getting a little dairy.
a little fat. So the bone broth is really good for getting some collagen. You know, you're still gonna get scrape, crepey skin. You're still gonna get wrinkles if you don't sleep sound like I do. Um, also, you know, back to this nine days, lunch meat sandwiches can be good if you get good lunch meat and you get good sliced cheese. And so soon, I'm changing my, I've been doing this. I'm gonna start canning some of this meat. I put uh, videos on my X for you guys. And there's also a good um, music playlist that will put you in a very good mood. Um, also, I was doing uh, more research on these cheap RV parks. There's quite a few of them. And so seniors usually have a fixed income. So the problem would be coming up with the RV or the trailer in the first place. So the best way to do that is cut way back on everything. Not not misery making because that's not going to uh, work. I thought that was one of my uh, best ideas. Also, you know, I was typing in a bunch of stuff about in, in the uh, AI about tiny houses, um, you know, just really tiny apartments that you can find and rent very cheap. So the time to find them is before something. Well, like when the owner wanted my apartment back, I didn't have time to um, locate a tiny home. I was fine, but that is not the point. If I wasn't me, I would have ended up homeless. Not that they cared, because they were sleeping soundly. Okay, uh, now I want to talk to you guys a little bit about thrift stores. I am going to be shopping around in thrift stores, mainly for the holidays. So I'm trying to clean the house up good and it's like a bigger mess than ever. This is why people hate cleaning. Uh, one of the things I have found that is if you pull everything out of the room, clean it, and then put the stuff, only the stuff back in it that you want to keep. And that's a horrible mess because then the mess is displaced and then donate the rest. But um, one thing I like um, is I like... Uh, here's my brass bowl but the brass uh candlesticks and i found that the best if you buy it used don't buy the tarnex tarnish remover just take this um this is silver cleaner and you just there's a sponge and you wet it and you rub it around just for a couple minutes and then you wipe it off with a wet sp sponge and then dry it and your brass is like new and it's forever. So I bought brass candlesticks. I think I posted them on my Instagram. There's a lot of crazy AI art on there. But um, I was doing the AI art and I go, I don't see how this is going to displace human art. But we have, it's, they say it's going to. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna be uh, looking, I have like ornaments for my Christmas trees. Um, and this year they say one of the trending colors is gonna be emerald green and gold. And so I, I think it was last year, I had a lot of uh, green bulbs. So all I have to do is get some gold bulbs and then some, uh, I wanna get some kind of ribbon. I like ribbon. Um, and then, uh, when I'm in the thrift store, I'm gonna be looking for canning jars because I'm gonna be canning. So if you guys wanna can, go to my ex and watch this video. And I thought, I know it was easy, but I, I couldn't remember how my grandmother and aunts, now they use like, uh, you know, your standard ball canning jars. But I know like in the olden days, they use any jars. They even use Coca-Cola bottles and in this is a foreign uh, video she cans everything and so i thought yeah that's what i want to do so i'm going to be looking i have quite a bit of canning equipment and i'm saving quite a bit of my glass jars you know like 
Did I buy any glass jars? Even my peanut butter plastic jars, and I'm gonna be canning stuff, and I will show you. I'm gonna be canning the meat in my freezer. And so the only thing you have to know about meat is you need probably need a pressure canner. So I am looking for a good deal. I haven't had a good deal. I haven't had a good um, luck buying them used because I feel like I'm gonna blast myself to kingdom come. So, and then preparing for the holidays little by little because they say if the spending is down, the inventory is not gonna be there for us to find. I used to go in and buy everything 80% off. Good luck trying to do that now. You can buy a bunch of junk that nobody wants cheap. Okay, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye, you guys. Keep stockpiling a little. That's the point.